but um, I think it was probably about as old as I am now. And Julia is just wonderful. You know, Julia once at a meeting um, with, that I attended when I'd never actually met her personally, um, she said, oh, really? <laughs> she said, I don't talk like that. And I know I don't do it very well, but I'll just try. She said, I, I don't believe it's possible to eat food at just 10% of calories from fat. If there's anybody here who does that, please stand up now so that I can look at you. There was about 400 people there, all, all culinary, you know, um, people. And, <clears throat> and um, so because I did that, shut up, I'm talking. Um, because <clears throat> I stood up and she looked down at her notes for the longest amount of time. And by the time I'd sat down again, uh, she hadn't noticed it. But that got us to meet each other. And she said to me later on, she said, I never understood people like you until I met Trina. And now I understand why you do what you do. And I will keep on doing what I do for my butter friends. <laughs> so anyways, we did this fabulous program together and we were sort of competing in a way. And I had done a sauce. Um, my way and she'd done it her way and she'd sort of put a pound of butter in it or something you know and I noticed that she had a bit of a tremor and she would put a, a spoonful of cayenne pepper and she talked to me at the same time and she dumped the whole spoonful of cayenne pepper into the stew so I thought whoa <laughs> that's that um, I thought better than of saying that to him to her and um, so um, she tastes my thing she said oh, that's quite good and uh, here, taste mine, I thought, oh, what am I going to do? Because I don't eat very hot food. And so she thrust this spoonful and I choked. And I thought, this is like, you know, but this is on tape, but I mean, it was live. And so I was sort of choking and I'm thinking, what do I say? And I, I just blurted out, I said, I think as an Englishman, I've just been violated. And she looked at me and she said, I wouldn't have thought it was that easy. <laughs> <laughs> she was so quick and Trina and I every time it was her birthday would send her a little rose plant um, and she lived in Santa Barbara um, and also you know, she spent the year between the two houses and um, and so she had a little garden of rose um, things for her loved her lots and and we did get on really well and even though we were going in exactly the opposite direction does that make sense Okay, good. Can I carry on? Good. All right. Um, so here is the sweet potato. And that has now boiled up enough that I'm quite sure that that will be fine. Now that's the pasta. It just needed a little bit of extra time. So I'm now taking this sweet potato, which is nicely steamed through, not boiled, but steamed so that it's retaining the most of its beta carotene. <coughs> and you see how that comes up about that thing? All right. Now, let's take this. And here, I want to make a good point on this one, if I can. Um, always store this fat-free evaporated milk upside down in the store. It's obvious <clears throat> that they wouldn't do that in a regular store, but it's really necessary to do that. And the reason for that is, and it has this on the top, shake well, it says, which is a good idea to shake it as well. But what happens is the solids in this milk product drop to the bottom of the can. And whilst it's perfectly easy to scrape them up, <coughs> it also is, is a good idea to store it the other way. And the solids tend to go to the other end. <laughs> Let me show you what's going on here. Um, okay. 
So, <coughs> down in the bottom there, you can see the milk solids. They've still got a few have just attached themselves to them. It's really important to be able to get that into this, into this dish. Now, this is one of these blenders that you might have seen in infomercials or whatever. Um, and I wanted, and my old blender went south on me. And so I got this just to see whether it worked. And I was really pretty happy with this. See what's happened now. I've got one 10 ounce can. Oh, this is a 10 ounce can. And one pound of the sweet potatoes that are steamed. Now it needs to get to the thing. Now, I... <laughs> I have done this on a couple of occasions um, on national television. Both times, I, it, the noise is deafening. And the reason why the noise is deafening is because it has to go for four minutes. Now, a minute or two on television is fine. But when you have to deal with this, so we did everything we could to shove it into a cupboard and smother it with a pillow and didn't work. And I was trying to work out what I could do here at last. And I'm very fortunate to have a house like I have which this is my, 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 my bedroom is down there. Right, so that, that's my bedroom. I'm not going to take you down to my bedroom, but just believe me, it's my bedroom. Okay, so four minutes on the timer. And what you could say is, for four minutes, put it away in your bedroom. <laughs> um, that is not really required, but um, just see me. Now, <clears throat> what's happening during that time is that there are milk solids, obviously coming from the evaporated milk, and there are also uh, the cellulose, which is part and parcel of the sweet potato is now because it's been simmered like that it's now whizzing round and air is being beaten into that now and it's going to increase in volume and the extraordinary thing that's going to happen is that the two things after four minutes become velvet when i say velvet i mean mouth round fullness now Think for a moment of the <coughs> finest ice cream you have ever eaten. Eh? And think how that moves around your mouth. It's called mouth round fullness. And it's texture. And it's one of the things that we love most about food, especially high fat food. Fat carries flavor, but it also smooths the food flavors into the palate. It's textural as well as flavor, taste. <clears throat> and so what I'm doing here is I'm creating that kind of velvet fla flavor without any fat at all. I want to develop something which feels like it is really full fat and isn't, all right? So four minutes will do it. And that's, can I nuke the sweet potato? Oh, question. Can you nuke the sweet potato? Can you put it into the... And I've tried that as an alternative. And yes, you can make it soft inst and instead of the steaming, and you can do that in about three minutes. <clears throat> but if you take it to four minutes by mistake, then it goes wooden, and that doesn't work at all well. This whizzing thing can only be done in a blender because what you've got is this soft vegetable and the milk solids 
whizzing up together and putting air into it. That's the big deal. We want the air to be secure in that. Okay, that's about four minutes. Isn't that a relief when it's over? You might have noticed that it went in at about here, and it's about three quarters of an inch increased in volume. Then you've done that. You might notice that.